And as we get into this, what you're going to find, maybe even more interesting, it's not what we're looking at, it's what's not in Scripture. Because we have a lot of things in our current life that you're just used to because you've had that since you were brought up. Since you, since you were born, things have been the way that they are, and, and that seems normal to you just because it's always the way it's been. Which is why we need to study God's Word to see, well, what does God's Word say? Because we need to be able to challenge what we're used to. We need to be able to, to break that conditioning or whatever of, of whatever you, you think is normal and just compare everything to God's word and be willing to say, you know what? I don't think we do need this. Yeah, that's the way things are. That's the way things have been. I don't think we need it. And, and an example I believe, I don't think we need the police. Amen. I don't believe we should have the police. Amen. You don't see the police anywhere in scripture. We don't need them. And just the term policing, I mean, they, that is a newer thing, by the way. And, and I didn't do the, the, the research. I, I've read on it before. I don't remember all the stats of exactly when that was instituted. But it wasn't that long ago. I mean, it was within the last 100 years, definitely, where they were, you know, because there used to just be sheriffs and deputies, right, to, that were law enforcement. The policing concept was new of people just constantly looking for trouble. This is what they're doing. They're looking for trouble. That's what the police do. They're just going around and just trying to find people. And when you have that mindset, you're always looking at people as being criminals. Well, are you a criminal? And that's why you see what we see today, you know, all these inquisitions. So where are you coming from? What are you doing? And people just fishing, trying to get you in trouble when you haven't done anything wrong. And you could watch, you go on YouTube, you see video after video after video of people being harassed by the police to protect and serve, right? Yeah, it sounds great. Yeah, the police have been around my entire life. But it doesn't mean that it's biblical or scriptural or right to have this. And you can easily see how it's just gotten way out of control. And everyone's, you know, well, I don't know. They say, well, well, I don't know if you're a criminal. I, I mean, what if you have a gun? What if you have a record? What if you, you know, what if you want to hurt me? Well, what if you want to hurt me? Right? Where's my protection? I don't care about you. What about me? You tell me to put my gun on the dash you know, as you got your gun drawn on me? And I'm supposed to just trust you that you're not going to kill me? Who are you? And what did I do? You don't know. I'm going to try it. That's what I'm trying to figure out. We don't need to figure out. Go away. <laughs> we'll get into that later, though. That wasn't even in my notes, because that's going to lead me into what happened last week, and, and that's not even going to happen today. I'm not going to get into all that. So, um, But that's a really good example, because you don't see people policing in the Bible. So far, all we've seen is judges. And you know what? That's about all you're going to see. Now, there are officers, too. And I do believe that it, that would be right and prudent to have people to help, you know, w when people aren't voluntarily going to come into court to, like, make people face the charges or what, you know, uh, uh, you, you need, it, it just, it just need, in order to function, you need to have this, right? Just like you need to have an executioner. But there's a lot of interesting things about the executioners, too, and who's supposed to be doing executions. And we're going to see, um, we're gonna see what that's talking about, too. Prison's another concept, too, that's just not biblical at all. Right. And punishment of, of, of having prisons. Now, you could have a jail where people are held maybe temporarily in order to, to come before a court. That's different than having prison. Right. Okay, a prison sentence, again, that's another new concept. Yeah. But what is it that people even tell their kids now? I mean, I heard it growing up. You might even tell your kids, oh, you don't want to do that because you'll go to prison. Or you don't want to go to jail. You don't want to, you know. Yeah, I don't, I mean, you don't want to go there, right? But this is just the way of thinking that's been normalized. And I get it, that's the way the system works right now. But it doesn't mean it's right. And it doesn't mean we should be supporting that system. In fact, we should be fighting against it because it's not biblical, it's not right. It ends up doing more damage and harm to people's families and the people who are supposed to get right. You know, the Bible teaches that 
You do wrong, you receive the wrong that's righteous according to, to the punishment that God has ordained, that God has given, and you don't change that. You don't try to lessen the punishment that God gives. Oh, that's too extreme. That's, no. Hey, what makes you think you're a better judge than God? But then at the same time, you don't just start adding all kinds of other extra crimes and, and instituting all these extra punishments that God hasn't ordained. Like growing a plant. Now look, I'm not at all for people using drugs and doing drugs and growing drugs. And the Bible's against, you know, being unsober, being drunken, being high. Okay, the, these are not righteous and godly things. But you know what God did not do? He didn't ordain any punishment against someone who's growing a plant in their house. 